Another whale has washed ashore at the Oceano Dunes. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola joins us live this evening with a look at the whale. What's it smell like out there, Alexa? Scott, it doesn't smell too good out here, but I do want to start out by showing you the actual size of this whale. Experts tell me it measures 31 feet long, if you can believe that. They think it's a sub-adult. I also want to show you the shark bite marks at the end of its tail that uh, they've been observing out here, and it's definitely drawn quite the crowd. I thought, wow, that's amazing. I've never seen one after 30 years. I don't know I'll ever see one again. This humpback whale washed ashore at the Oceano Dunes sometime on Thursday. I've always wanted to see a whale in real life. So seeing this whale this morning, I was very surprised and I took many photos and everything. Tons of photos were taken of the rare site. We we're just cruising up the coast and look over and there's a dead whale just floating there. It's interesting to see because it's, you know, it's part of nature to us. And, and if you look at it, it looks like it has some shark bites. So you, you try to figure out why it died, how it got here. Stranding coordinator Lily Hartunian was in charge of observation and sampling of the whale late Friday afternoon. There's a specific protocol she follows. Length with um, markings, findings, coloration, um, bruising, uh, bite marks, if it's any external factors. She believes this whale to be a subadult. It has a number of shark bites as well as marks from birds and rolling in the sand. Though we don't have smell of vision, the smell coming from the whale. It's it's bad. It, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. It's a little strong. The samples will be sent to a pathologist to determine what might have happened to the marine mammal. It's just kind of sad, you know, when you see something like this, but it's mother nature and and we'll get the results of those samples within the next few weeks. As far as what's next for this whale, that's still being determined. For now, live and local in Oceano, Alexa Bertola, KSPY News. This looked like some large shark bites. Thank you, Alexa. Necropsy could be performed by tomorrow.